Welcome to the Noreen Riel Falcone Library Interlibrary Loan Tutorial. Through this tutorial, you will learn what is Interlibrary Loan and how to request materials through Interlibrary Loan. Let's start with finding out more information about what is Interlibrary Loan. Interlibrary Loan, also known as ILL, is a cooperative effort among libraries to share resources. Through Interlibrary Loan, you are able to borrow books and articles and sometimes other materials not owned by our library. The types of materials that you can request through Interlibrary Loan range from mostly books, journal articles, and book chapters, but in certain occasions can contain other materials like videos and microforms. Let's review now how to search for materials through Interlibrary Loan. We'll review two common ways that materials are requested through Interlibrary Loan. One common way is within a database. Let's say I'm in a database searching on a particular topic. And in the results list, I come across an article that I would like to view, but unfortunately is not available in full text. Instead, I can click this link that says find article at Lemoyne Library, and it will then search all of our other databases to see if we have access to the article in full text in one of those. In this case, we do not. I can tell that by this message here that says, sorry, this item is not held by our library. Instead though, I'm given an option to request item using interlibrary loan. I can click on that link, which will then take me to my interlibrary loan portal. Note, if you have not already logged into your interlibrary loan portal, you might be required to sign in first. Your username and password is your same username and password that you use for all of your other Lemoyne accounts. Now we can see here, since I went in through the database and the database knew the article I was looking for, it filled in that information for me with the journal title, the date, the article title, page numbers, and so forth. It's good practice to double check this information because sometimes the information uh, doesn't always transfer over perfectly. But in this case, this looks great. And you'll notice that my name and contact information is filled in as well. I can simply submit the request and it will then be transferred over to our interlibrary loan department for processing. A second common way to request materials to interlibrary loan is if I know of a particular source that our library does not own. Let's say I found mention of a book in the reference list of another book that I was looking at. First, I would search for this book in our catalog and then connect to our catalog to see if the book was available there. It's important to search these two places first, since that would be the fastest way for me to get the book. However, if it's not available there, then this would be a great time to request the book through interlibrary loan. Unlike last time where I was going through a database and clicked on a link there to be taken to the request form, in this case, I would need to pull up the form directly and fill in the needed information. I can do this from the library's homepage under library services and then interlibrary loan. I'll be taken to the interlibrary loan page where I can scroll down and either log into the interlibrary loan portal or go directly to the request forms. So either request an article for interlibrary loan, a book, or a book chapter. In this case, I'm interested in the whole book, so I'll request a book chapter through Interlibrary Loan. Again, if you haven't already signed in, you'll be taken to the sign-in page. In this case, I'm already signed in, so it passed me right through. You'll notice here that I can select what type of materials I want to request. In this case, I clicked the link to request a book. That's why this one is selected. I will then need to fill in the relevant information about the book, the title, the author are the two required forms, but any additional information you can provide is helpful to our interlibrary loan department in order to make sure that we're getting the right book for you. Then finally, once you've filled in all of the required fields, submit the request, and just like before, this will go off to our interlibrary loan department for processing. Let's review some common interlibrary loan questions. How long does it take for materials to be delivered? Articles and book chapters generally take one to two business days, while books take between two to 10 business days. How will I be notified? You will receive an email sent to your Lemoyne email address once the materials are available. How will I receive my requested items? Articles and book chapters will be available electronically through your interlibrary loan portal. There will be a link to it in the email you receive saying it's available. Books will be available for pickup at the library services desk. How long will I have materials for? Loan periods vary depending on material type and lending library. 
How do I return books and other physical materials borrowed through interlibrary loan? Just drop them off at our library services desk and we'll take care of the rest. If you need help, please ask a librarian at resources.library.lemoyne.edu forward slash ask us.